Welcome to our Harbor Identification class. Here is where we learn what God has given us in nature and uh, the blessings that uh, uh, we need to impart to others after knowing uh, all these uh, uh, benefits that God created in the beginning. Now, I've been teaching us that a disease, the approach of the disease is for the whole body. And so when we are using these remedies, it is to help the body to rebuild itself. But that does not mean that we run to these herbal remedies the first thing. But we need to look at it holistically, feeding yourself with the right foods that has the right proportion of carbohydrates, the right proportions of proteins, vitamins, minerals, water, and fats and oils. Because the DNA needs uh, the right proportion of these uh, foodstuffs so that they can be strengthened. And then the herbs help to strengthen the system so it can fight for itself. So welcome today to where we're going to look at this beautiful remedy, and that is comfrey. The botanical name is Symphytum officinale. Uh, it is a cell pro proliferant. It means that it makes the cells to grow and proliferate to create. It creates more. It causes the cells to grow very fast. Now this is the plant everywhere you can find it. is a very uh, uh, is a, 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 a herb that grows very fast and. Uh, and is very adversive. It has been used for centuries to knit the bones. So it is named, it is named Bonita for its powerful effects upon rebuilding the skeletal structure. Strengthens connective tissues used for hemorrhoids and varicose and spider veins. If you have prolapse condition of the uterus, bowels, or bladder, if you have muscular degeneration, osteoporosis, hernia, and aneurysms, uh, the, the effects, the, the, the phytochemicals or the antioxidants that we find here helps it, makes it to be very powerful in strengthening every organ. It has a lot of calcium, and you know calcium is a lead mineral into the body, it tissues. So it carries with it all the minerals that the body needs, and then the body, the tissues, the muscles, the flesh is able to be strong enough to build itself and remove the toxins. It is a powerful wound healer and used, useful in sprains, fractures, and the like. It is a good astringent used to detoxify and clean tissues and helps move the lymphatic system. Basically, what we use is the leaves and the roots. The roots has the highest composition of alantonin, and uh, that alantonin has is a mucilaginous effect in the in the system. It uh, what helps with the proliferation of the cells and the growth of cells uh, adversely. You well. So, uh, what you need to know uh, with someone having osteoporosis. You can crush the leaves and make something called uh, uh, the, the, the plaster. If you want to make a plaster out of, this, uh, uh, out of this herb, for someone who has a fracture in the bones or uh, an inflammation uh, within the system, you will use one part, four parts of the comfrey root or leaf powder and then you add a half a glass of, uh, of flaxseed powder and then add uh, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper will help with, this, uh, with the circulation of blood. The flaxseed helps with the binding effect. The comfrey helps with the proliferation and the, rig and the growth of the cells and the tissues and the removal of, of inflammation. And then you are going to add clove oil. Clove oil is essential for uh, removing the toxins and infection in the area that is affected. 
you had about 10 mils of, of it, and then uh, you have to add just about a, a, a half a glass of water, of hot water. This will help to activate the ingredients that you're applying into your, uh, in, into the, onto the part, on the part that is affected. You can add one cup of the corn flour also as a binder and then tie all this on the fracture or place that is having uh, osteoarthritis or gout and then leave it there uh, for about three days. In fact, it will be very intact that it cannot be affected. For preservation mechanisms, you can add vegetable glycerin, about four tablespoons of vegetable glycerin, and then put it there. And this plaster is good for regenerating the bones and the tissues. Um, it helps to move the lymphatic system if we take it as tea. As a tea, you can either make a glass of the juice that is processed from the leaves and the roots, a, a glass of it taken twice a day, or you can make a decoction where you put it in water and then take a glass three times a day. It is very beneficial for respiratory issues, both for its expectorant properties and its antibacterial properties. It helps with the bronchitis, with the asthma, with chest pains, with chest congestions, and other difficulties. If you have the powder, you can mix it with the, with the red bulb onion, equal parts, and then apply it as a poultice on your chest if you are having pneumonia or having um, emphysema or having water in the lungs or having difficulty with breathing, bronchitis, all this will help you. Confries a tonic to the body, strengthening cells and tissues. It checks hemorrhages, especially in the GI tract, urinary tract and lungs when you take it as tea. Comfrey is used to help regulate blood sugars, said to head protein uh, through increasing the secretion of pepsin. It is a lung tonic and excellent as a poultice for any injury, promotes the formation of epithelial cells. So it's a very important hub that uh, we can explore day by day to help us in fighting these diseases. Now for you to make a powerful lung tonic uh, for your lungs, this is what you will do. Uh, take a pound, about a kilo of the pine needle leaves and add it into four liters of water and then boil it down until it, can, it turns to uh, it reduces to one liter of water. And then add one, uh, add about uh, one, uh, one cup of pineapple juice and one glass of lemon juice. And then you add a half a glass of, of uh, apples, not apple cider vinegar, but uh, vegetable glycerin. Add 10 mils of eucalyptus oil, 10 mils of uh, clove oil, 10 mils of peppermint oil, and then one cup of honey. After adding one cup of honey, uh, you want to add a half a glass of, uh, of, of uh, the juice of turmeric, the juice of uh, um, red bulb onion, the juice of uh, half a glass of, of, uh, of ginger, fresh ginger and then mix them together. After mixing them together, you add a, uh, a tablespoon of hot uh, cayenne. Cayenne is very important in this, in this process because it starts circulation. And then add uh, about, uh, add about six parts or six tablespoons of comfrey root powder or the plant, the root, the leaves and the, and the roots mix together and then warm it for about three minutes under very low heat. After that minutes, you will pack it in a bottle, glass bottle, and then use about uh, two tablespoons for someone, for a, an, an adult of uh, 
12 years and above, you can use two tablespoons uh, for chronic lung diseases, emphysema or lung cancer. You will be using it, you will be taking two tablespoons uh, after every two hours. Make sure that during that time you are doing fermentation and uh, doing steam inhalation. And if I forgot something to add into that thing, is, uh, which is uh, menthol crystals, about, add about one tablespoon of menthol crystals. And then that menthol crystal will be helping in boosting um, oxygen circulation uh, or uh, increase the ox oxygen levels to the blood vessels. Well, that will be very important for you. And uh, I believe you've been blessed with the class of comfrey. Next time, we can continue more uh, based on what God will give and